More earth changes, more things to be on alert about and getting used to change. Let's get into it. Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is the weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 14th, 2018. I'm very happy to announce that BetterHelp was kind enough to sponsor this week's video, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later about what BetterHelp is all about. But first, let's talk about this auto write message. Very interesting. Um, first and foremost, I mean, I'll read it here in a second, but um, I'm still feeling it, so I'll just <laughs> relay it to you. Um, as we know, there have been, there's been a volcano erupting uh, in Hawaii and Hawaii has already been experiencing earthquakes. The feeling I'm getting is that the earthquakes are going to continue. Um, those earthquakes have set off something, you know, it, it, I don't know about this stuff, so forgive my <laughs> lack of uh, words to put to this, but it, it's basically splintering. That's what's happening. Now, whether Hawaii will have another big earthquake I'm not sure but I feel like the one that's already happened the big one that already happened has already kind of splintered things and um, I, I just felt now Los Angeles previously I was feeling like Northern California all the way up into Oregon but um, will this be huge I would just get yourself prepped just know that there's been a splintering that's the biggest message so as far as when this stuff happens you're getting the message now uh, to get prepared, okay? So should you be in fear? If, if you automatically listen to this stuff and you go into fear, um, just ask yourself, am I trying to get a reaction? Am I trying to get people to feel bad for me? Am I trying to hold people accountable for how I feel? You know, sometimes these messages, you know, well, all the time, these messages are coming up so that you are forewarned. It's not to make you scared and panic. It's like, get get ready, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't wait and don't pretend like it's not gonna happen. So there's now a different, there's a split and there's a different feeling here. So there's some activity going on that has been triggered, okay? Sorry about that, I'm getting the sniffles. I had to go take care of that. But anyway, I'm feeling like there's this divide and it's sort of, it feels like Northern California going up into Oregon, uh, something going on there. And also I feel like there's saturation. So again, we talked about this months ago. I don't know if that means waves are higher or you know, if it's like a coastal thing or if there's gonna be a lot of rain, whatever the deal is, try not to combat nature all right and I feel I don't know in the circumstances especially going up into Oregon I feel like people are going to take on nature and it's not advised now in a secondary sense I felt that Los Angeles was going to in that region okay was going to be affected by something not getting a firm hit on what it is but they're showing the splintering again. They're also showing, and, and like I said, I'll read this here, but they were showing the ground opening up. Now, this made me immediately think about sinkholes, you know what I mean, and, and things like that. Now, I don't know if that's in Los Angeles, that could be happening somewhere else, but there, the earth is clicking around and she's changing and she's not gonna wait for people to get used to it, okay? So let's get into <laughs> the auto right. So earthquakes continue cracking along west coast of U.S. upper. So that was the first part of it. Ground opening, shaking people awake, taking away what is known. You will be asked to respond with silence. Yes, not lamenting, but in sending powerful love out and around you. Work and life will continue to click away from the so-called so norm. So this is like trying to rip a toy out of a child's hands. That's kind of what's you know going on with us. You know, I think so many of us have resisted the change or we've been so deeply ingrained in our conditioning, in our patterning, that 
you know, we've been hearing this for a long time that we're trying to awaken, but a lot of people are still resisting this. They don't want to do it. Um, they don't want to believe it. They think it's ridiculous. Um, and there's, there's no going back <laughs> at this point. And it, it's saying not with lamenting, so not with complaining, not with, um, I, I don't even want to say like, it doesn't even have this feeling of like, oh, I'm going to pray for you. You know, it doesn't have that kind of feeling. It has this sort of like, you know what, something is so, like your whole focus is required. There's no room for words. It's just utter focus and, and sending out love. There's nothing else to do about it, all right? Now I'm getting a message around Europe. Norway, again, I, poor Norway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but I don't know that this will make the news. If it does, it's because someone cracks it open and gets it out to the mainstream. So um, some of you who live there, you might know what's going on. Um, it feels like something that's very controlling. So it might be, I, you know, my human brain is going to take that energy and interpret it like it must be government. But just remember the actual message is they're saying slithering. Something is slithering. And... Um, it is affecting you. It's affecting your way of life. And per usual, <laughs> more things for you guys are going to be coming to light. And there might be something going on with uh, like Europe, like, like the whole continent. So I guess we'll wait and see and see what shifts and changes are going on there. If you are living in one of these regions that I'm talking about and you have felt a sense of something because you're close to that energy, you're in it. Um, feel free to leave the comment below about what you think it might be. All right. The message seems fierce in struggling for most would rather a comfort may run straight to those who offer it, but we are here for such things and Heidi will not improve conditions. Your ideas are improving. What? Maybe going, oh, your ideas of improving may be going to the familiar, but the familiar is no longer there. So you guys might be struggling, or all of us are struggling to keep going. We've been saying this for years now, struggling to go with the same old, same old, but that's just, that structure just isn't going to work anymore. Um, it's, it's time for that change. It's time to just keep moving forward. You're not gonna see the road ahead, but this is where the faith comes in. And of course it says, with love as always. Now, I wanna go back to this whole thing the message seems fierce in struggling, for most would rather a comfort may run straight to those who offer it. And we see this quite a lot. This is how, um, you know, some people even make money. Like, oh, I will comfort you. I'll tell you what you want to hear. Please be cautious, uh, especially um, anybody who, I want to be careful with this because I don't want to disrespect anybody, but just be careful with people who just tell you what you want to hear, whether that's a reader that you hire, um, whether, and you guys know I've never been about that. I've <laughs> never been about, oh, here, you can come and take some of my energy and I'll coddle you and then, you know, you'll be okay until the next time you feel like you need to be coddled and then you come back to me again. You know, that's not my style. Um, so be careful, or if it's like friends around you who are enabling you, and if you are one of the people that is constantly seeking comfort, ask yourself, why am I not, you know, tuning into that divine source within me? And why am I not talking to my own angels? You know, they are there. So there's that. Can't wait to see what the cards have to say. <laughs> so let's get into it. Before we get into the cards, as always, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am jamming. I am like in full throttle with these things. No promises. I have up to 20 days to get it to you per the agreement, but honestly, right now I'm running about seven days. Okay. So if you get in now, so long as I don't get sick or something like that, <laughs> or my computer, God forbid, blows up. You know, I should be able to get it or I get like 25 requests in one day. Okay, you know, it might be a little bit longer than seven days, but <laughs> right now I'm averaging about seven days. So perfect time to get in line for a reading. Go to my website, angelsouls444.com, the services page. That information is down below. Of course, please get over and check out my courses over at Gumroad. They're still there. There's a whole library of stuff there to check out. Information down below. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, that is always very much appreciated. 
also information down below. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this week's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know I'm a big believer in the old one-two punch for <laughs> wellness and healing. I absolutely believe in taking care of the mental body as well as the spiritual body. And you know, when you when you are working with spirituality, a lot of times when you're doing that kind of, if you want to call it energetic work, this will bring things up to the surface and it can hit your psychological self. I am not qualified to help you with that. <laughs> so it's always a good idea that, you know, when your spiritual practices might open up something that you really need to look at, to go and consult with a therapist. Always take your psychology seriously. Take it as seriously as you would your spirituality. These are not things that need to be separate. They work very, very well together. So just to you know, explain to you from my own personal experience, there have been times where I'm in a certain point in my life where I'm ready to unlock a pattern. I cracked it open through my spirituality, but I started to feel like, oh, okay, this is really starting to hit me physically, I'm, you know, and again, psychologically. And so I have used BetterHelp myself as a service for a short period of time. And I was able to easily access some more insight and to have support and to, you know, really just do that final push when you're working on something, all right? So please do not diminish the importance of therapy in conjunction with your spiritual practice. So what is BetterHelp? Well, I made a video for BetterHelp, gosh, when was that? Long time ago, <laughs> back in October, something like that of last year. Essentially, it is online therapy. I know, I, I think that is the most genius thing I've ever heard of, and it's so simple. I know a lot of people don't really understand how this works, but I have a link down below. By clicking on that link, you are supporting me and supporting this channel. But if you click on the link, you're going to go to their website and you're going to hit get started. That's all. That's the first step. Get started. <laughs> okay. Very simple. Again, I've done this myself and I, if it ain't easy, I don't do it. I mean, I know that sounds a little lazy, but I think I'm all about being in the flow of life. So, you know, it's got to work, you know, before I'll <laughs> go in and do it myself, but go in, you're going to fill out a little questionnaire. This just helps better help the people at better help to understand where are you at right now, what you might need, who are you, so on and so forth, could not be easier. You're then going to have the option to go in and give your preferences for what kind of counselor you're looking for. So are you looking for someone who's male, female, um, you know, whether you want someone who's religious, non-religious, so on and so forth. All right. They have many, many therapists <laughs> to be able to help you. Once you complete all of that, you are matched up with a counselor. And from there, you start to schedule your first session from the comfort of your own home. It's really like, I can't even talk enough about this. This is crazy. So you actually have four ways that you can communicate with that therapist. You can have a live video chat through their secured website. You can do messenger chat, email, or a phone call, depending on where you are. And as I pointed out in that video, I did, I think it was back in October, this is really convenient because if something comes up in the moment, you can send a message to your therapist. It's not, not that traditional therapy is bad, but it, you know, it's a little bit different where you kind of have to hold on to, you know, this was happening to me so that you can remember it for your next appointment, right? In this way, you can get right on there and access. So you're going to get this little link. If I remember correctly, I think mine was via email. You click on it when it's time for your session. You sit there and you have a therapy session. You don't have to sneak out of work. Nobody has to figure out where you're going. <laughs> so on and so forth. And guys, the best part, it's really affordable. Now you guys know that I do not accept sponsorships very often, but this one I can get behind. Absolutely 100%. This is super affordable. It's in some cases cheaper than some people's copay in their insurance. So again, better help. Link is down below check it out. All right, now on to the cards for real. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to edit that out. My cards were a little bit further away than <laughs> that's what happens. I get all set up. I'm like, I'm ready to jam. And then oh, where's the deck? Oh my. All right. So anyway, let's see what's going on here. As always, I'm using the crystal deck by Rochelle Sharman and the color therapy deck by Inna Seagal. <sighs> 
mudslides. There could be flooding too, Mudsl mudslides and flooding. I'm, <laughs> that was dramatic. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> I forget how silly I can look when I'm actually trying to do these messages. Um, I don't, I, I can see it's the United States. It might be elsewhere too, but it's the United States. It's kind of over, I want to say, just west of Illinois, right? Kind of going down. So again, as always, I hope I'm wrong. We can have a good laugh, okay? But be extra cautious with Mother Nature. Yes. Okay, so we have Ruby Shine. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Sorry, another sniffle emergency. <laughs> So let's get more cards going here. What is going on? So India as well. It's weird because I'm getting two visuals. So I'm getting a visual of floodwaters and that feels like it's in the United States. And then I felt India and there's still this sense of water and like maybe flooding, but I don't know that that's actually it. I could be crossing that with the imagery that I just got. I'm getting a heat over my body. Guys, be careful. Okay, this isn't to make you scared. Like I said, this is just, and this isn't just in this coming week, it's in times to come. So we have grounding hematite, which is very protective. Uh, moonstone cycles. We're going through a natural earth cycle right now. And source has got your back. So do not fear. That's what we keep saying. <laughs> okay. So the first card we have up, this feels like it's more on an individual level. So we have Ruby and the card is shine. Now, what is beautiful about this is it's saying it's time to go ahead and not be fearful of the future. Go ahead and step forward. Do some work on your solar plexus. Okay. This is going to help you shine out your authentic light. Now, the other beautiful thing about Ruby is that it can be associated with love. Now, everybody has a different take on Ruby. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what is so weird? I'm wearing a Ruby. Okay. This is so funny. Absolutely wanted to wear this ring today. And I was like, man, but I got these crazy green nails. It's not going to look. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, <laughs> it'll be Christmas on my hand. I don't care. So that's weird though. I'm actually literally wearing Ruby. And then we have this, but Ruby can be opening your heart up to, um, sort of like romantic, almost like not innocent necessarily, but you know, kind of lighthearted, not taking it so seriously and yet having a deep connection kind of love. I know totally contradictory and yet there it is. Okay. <laughs> so Ruby is a beautiful card. So as you enter the energy of this week, get yourself prepared to love. We even saw that in the auto, right? Okay. No pitying people when they're going through stuff, you know, offer your love, offer your support. Pity does not help. Pity makes things worse. Yes? Cool. On an individual level, some of you might be meeting someone really special. <laughs> or if you are already in a romantic partnership, let's say you've been married for 40 years, you might suddenly have this burst of like, hey, it's like we're dating for the first time all over again. You know what I mean? So, and it has that kind of feel about it. And that's in stark contrast to there, there maybe the way we would perceive it in our current brain structure, whatever, however you want to put that, is that there's going to be like darkness and heaviness around us, just things happening, shifts and changes. And yet, remember, when you are in a state of joy, when you are pumping that, energy through you that can set off everybody else. You know, one of the things that I know you've heard this before, always find the joy. So even when you're going through a tough time, watch a funny movie or, you know, go hang out with a little kid who cracks you up, you know, and you just adore that child, whatever the case may be, that's to keep the frequency up. And when we keep our frequency up, which is what you have, you know, honestly, the most control over, you can't control other people then you're actually helping the world. You're helping, it may not seem that way, but you are, you're helping to raise the frequency. I wanna make the distinction, this is not, you know, inappropriate humor, right? Or, you know, um, laughing things off and pretending like it's not a big deal, but finding the joy point, the point of joy, 
Yes, and allowing that to come up. That will help be very, very healing. Um, again, everything that's gonna be going on in this world, uh, you know, it's been going on. This is nothing new, but everything that has been going on, this isn't anything that we can't handle. And that's something I really wanna drive home as well. We got this, <laughs> okay, we can handle this. It's just, I think there's still gonna be resistance. I think people are going to flow with changes that are occurring and yet still, you know, maybe under their breath, so to speak, kind of being like, grumble, 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 grumble. I don't want it like this. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this. I don't want, you know, so on and so forth. Anyway, so as things are kind of in stark contrast to one another, we have hematite grounding. So this can also, you can work with Archangel Sandalfin. Okay, glare here. If I could just get it into the center of the ring light, <laughs> maybe you can see it. So hematite is a cool stone to have, especially if you do any sort of spiritual work. I, I usually, I don't really have it on me, but um, I think it's very, very smart to have hematite with you. Hematite is reflective, right? So anytime you feel insecure, you're feel, or somebody's actually coming at you with some bad, some bad energy, you know, they're like throwing it, they're putting you through it, right? You can always imagine hematite around you. I've said this in personal readings as well, and that reflects back, okay, so that you're protected. And this says grounding, so we're gonna to get to that in just a second. You can also imagine gold, a gold light around you. Just anything reflective. I've heard people say mirrors, you know, or whatever, and it just reflects back. Um, funny little story. <laughs> I think this is a feng shui thing, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I'm not an expert in feng shui. But um, anyway, I, I had some neighbors again. <laughs> <laughs> who were being a little loud and now I'm, I'm so good at this now I took a mirror and I faced the window within two minutes they had quieted down and they had gone inside I'm not kidding so that is reflecting out like and it wasn't to harm them it was just like I it's invading my space and it's invading my free will choice to sleep so I'm you know as it affects me I'm, I'm taking care of business right but the grounding so this can be Archangel Sandalfin kind of territory making sure that you don't run away with your emotions make sure you are completely balanced which is also what Archangel Sandalfin helps you do okay if you want to work with his brother Archangel Metatron this is helping you uh, get through the lessons whatever lessons that might be surfacing for you as an individual for us as a collective society within this earth story Obviously, we're all one, <laughs> right? But just as we are perceiving it right now, okay, to help you get through that. Then we have Moonstone, again, which is all about emotions, yes, and cycles. So this can be an emotional time coming up, but remember, the Earth is going through its necessary cycles. We, as a humanity, we're going through our necessary cycles. So again, as the auto right said, if you struggle, this is gonna be a rough time for you. If you want to um, criticize others, so for some reason that's coming up, a lot of projection. People just wanna take things that they're uncomfortable with and throw it on somebody else. And you know, if you're nitpicking on somebody, um, one of the things that always amazes me is that people, you know, with the internet, it's very easy to get their aggressions out <laughs> just anonymously because they're not sitting face to face with that person that they're throwing whatever at you know what I mean and think about it if you're sitting across from somebody you know something can come from your brain out your mouth and you're like oops ooh, I didn't mean it that way but when you're sitting on the internet and, and when people are like oh you know the comments the this that don't give it your energy you've heard me say that before you have to stop and think don't just glaze over things stop and think about how we are using this thing that's supposed to connect us and to offer information we're actually using it to bully one another we're using it to tear each other's energy down and it's very purposeful it has to be because you know it's not just like i said you're just sitting in front of the person it's you're thinking and it's coming out of your mouth and then you're like oops didn't mean it you have to like read or watch or whatever is going on you usually have to click a button so you can comment and you have to type it out <laughs> and usually people will go back and reread it because you always see parentheses edited um, and they go back and add more and then more and, and they're just they're they're trying to do like a self cleanse I'm assuming because in most cases maybe they're just in pain they're in pain about something they don't want to look at so it's very easy to throw this at somebody that they don't know they hit send that's a lot of process that's a lot of time and yet we're still doing that that's just one example I mean we can go on and on with the examples so start not making excuses <laughs> for bad behavior uh, stop glazing over things kind of feeling and you know respond with silence and love 
okay? So just send a lot of love to that person, clean it away. This isn't sidestepping, but you know, if, if somebody does feel the need to set a boundary, maybe that's where they are and uh, they're, they're practicing that, don't put them down for doing that, okay? It's that kind of feeling. So I know that's kind of weird to bring that up, but it feels, what's coming up in this week is so systemic and the internet is the one thing that bleeds in us, you know, like it's just like the internet is internal bleeding, okay? It's just overloaded. Again, it's how we get at each other. It's also how we support one another. It's how I'm able to talk to somebody in India. It's how I'm able to talk to somebody in China. Hey, China, um, you know, or some very remote island in the middle of some ocean, you know, like pick an ocean. Uh, so make sure that we're aware of energy of all forms and at all layers and how we're using it and how we're being supportive of one another. I hope that makes sense. That was kind of all over the place, but it needed to come out. So anyway, this card is beautiful. It's a master teacher card, divine temple source. All of this might seem like this is too crazy. I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But really all it's doing, it's crumbling away the rock so that the true divine you can start to shine, okay? So these are very important. If you feel unloved, if you feel like this world wasn't meant for you, sorry for the glare, I don't know how to get it off there. <laughs> um, remember, source loves you. Source is expressing through you. You are of source. So this is, um, you know, we've gotten ourselves into trouble and I know like, I feel like the kids have been let out to play too long and we are the kids, right? And like mama, daddy, whatever you want to call it, source, right? Is like, all right, kids, recess is over. Get back in here. You look at this mess you made, <laughs> right? So think of this as a time where we're being called back in and we probably will have to, you know, finish out our lessons or however that's going to play out. And then, you know, we'll take it from there. I don't know what happens after that, but... I felt like that was important to say. So again, watch how we're harming one another. As things chip away from us, know that that's just leading up to a big reveal. And it's not necessarily like the secrets of the universe or anything, but um, revealing who we really are. Okay, might not happen overnight, but you know. All right, let's get a card. Let's do this. So as I'm shuffling, I'm already hearing childlike innocence. So try to take that approach this week as well, where, you know, again, connecting into the joy, being in the flow, right? Cool. So the card is tangerine. <laughs> Be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. There you go. So that kind of goes in with like that childlike innocence. And actually I was kind of wondering if the water, I think it's the watermelon card that says something like that. But again, try not to, you know, we want to be supportive and loving and cautious, but it's, it's like having it just right. You know what I mean? We are not fighting and screaming and, you know, doing whatever, but you're also not sidestepping. It feels like just, you know, balancing, really balancing. So when something comes up, you know, you're not necessarily fighting it, but it, you know, you're giving support. If something comes up on, you know, a personal level, you might decide, okay, well, I'm going to go off and I'm just going to let off some steam. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to, you know, maybe not on the West coast. I'm not really sure what's going on there. So like in all seriousness, be careful. I don't know what's happening, but, um, I'm going to get out into nature. I'm going to do this, that, and the other, I'm going to, um, decompress. Okay, so there are pieces to this message. And that's the other thing. Don't get hung up on, oh my God, what are you talking about? This is, none of this makes sense. It all makes sense, <laughs> okay? Life is not like black or white. There are all these little pieces that are coming together, all right? And as soon as we start allowing ourselves to flow in and, and actually look at all the, the different pieces, the different facets, the, the more we're gonna be able to just walk forward in peace. All right. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. Have a beautiful week, guys. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care.